Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to quickly show you how to use um, Google Classrooms. Okay, now I've got, I'm going to have two windows here. So one's going to be a student and one's going to be a teacher. So I can kind of go back and forth on how to use it. So I'm going to just log into both. So once you're logged into your Google accounts, you'll notice if you scroll down here, the very, very bottom, you'll have Classroom. Now, if you actually don't have that, sometimes you won't even see that icon. It's because you haven't logged into like a Google service with your, your Google account. So if you log into Mail or something like that, it'll then, it'll then show up. But if it doesn't, it's pretty easy to find it. It's just classrooms.google.com. So I'm going to tap on that. So this screen here is going to be my teacher and this will be my student down here. So when you log in, you'll get greeted to this uh, classroom, which is obviously a typical classroom that has a chalkboard and no student. Um, but all you want to do is create your first class. And again, it's just a matter of clicking plus there. Uh, and one thing that's obviously very important is that you're signed into your school uh, Google account because obviously that's where your students are as well and that'll make all that linking work. So I'm just going to create a new class. And you've got join and create. Uh, create is obviously for the teacher to create a class and join is for you if you're a student to join the class. But students can create classes as well. So, you know, they can create a class for their own little project groups or something like that. So it's not just limited to the teacher. Uh, students can be teachers as well and create classes, but I'm gonna create a class here. Uh, it'll give you your class name and section. So um, I'll focus on, I don't know, I'm just gonna call it grade six for now. It's gonna be like my, my hot overview and I might just call this, uh, all right. So, you know, obviously here you can change this from uh, grades or year levels, if it's high school, it might be history, science, you know, or even, you know, literacy, numeracy. So you can make as many classes as you want for as many things as you want. So I'm just going to create that there and then I'll create my class. Uh, pretty easy. You'll basically get, here's your class here. Now, the one thing I actually like about this is it's very plain. It's very, very streamlined, very simple. There's not a lot of stuff here to kind of get in your face. Uh, they really have two main platforms in here, which is announcements and assignments. And that's kind of it. And other than that, everything else is linked into, into the Google Docs platform, which is cool. So you can change the theme in your class if you want to, if you don't like bubbles, uh, you can change it to these kind of pre-baked themes here. Um, hmm, frog, let's do that. And then I'll set that class name with frog. Uh, you can't actually create your own theme as yet, but I'm sure that'll come eventually, but that's a nice shade of green. Um, and you're ready to go and you can start basically posting announcements or setting assignments, but you know, I've got no students here. So I'm going to go to my students um, and you have a few options. So you can invite a student, which means they will actually get invited into your classroom. So if you know their email address, um, or you can give students this code as well. So students will log into classroom over here and it's got that there. So I can basically put in a, a class code in there as well. And you'll also see that as the student that I'm logged in here, um, I don't have access to creating a class because I've told this student that they can only join classes. So you can actually change a lot of things here as well. So they would type in that code and they would be invited or the other option, like I said, is to invite a student. And I think this is a little bit easier. So you can go into your contacts. Now this is all the contacts that I have, you know, in my school, in my directory here. So you can go in, it's gonna bring up everyone that's under our organization or you can create your own of course as well. So in your contacts, sheet in your Google Apps, okay, uh, you, you'll be able to actually create your own contacts too. So you can put these guys in a group and you can invite the whole group. But for now, I'm just going to go into my contacts and I'm going to invite this awesome student. Um, good guy, really hard worker. Um, there we go there. I'm going to get him and I'm going to invite him. In. And so that'll go across here and it'll also send an email straight to that student as well. So I'm going to get across. So you can see now, I'm just going to cancel that. As a student, I'm already in there. So this is kind of in my classroom as a student and you can see that I've been invited and that teacher name will be down there. Um, and there's my email as well. Okay, coming straight across. I'll just turn off notifications for now. Um, and I can join this as a student. So I'm gonna join that and then I'm in that class. You can also see here on the teacher that they're invited. You can send another email to remind them if they actually haven't uh, accepted your invitation. You know, you can do that. So I'm just gonna join that and now I'll be part of the class. So there we go. So now I'm in the class. If I go back across here and I go into my students, I'll just refresh that one. There you go. That invite's gone because I'm now part of the class. So I've got one student here, big class. So if I go back to my stream, okay, you've got these two options, like I said. So you can also take it, this tour here is kind of the Google's way of showing you around that, you know, I'm doing that. 
Um, so announcements, are, you know, they can be anything. All right. So you can say, you know, hi everyone, welcome to your new classroom. Oops, I should probably spell correctly. Being a teacher. Um, there we go. And down here. You can add whatever you want to this kind of announcement. So you can attach a document. So I can actually upload files straight from my computer if I want to, if they're straight up documents. But what's really handy is the integration into Google Drive. So this will actually go straight into your Google Drive and you can pick a file straight from there and upload it. Um, YouTube will allow you to embed a YouTube uh, video. So you just type in the YouTube address and it'll actually embed it in there as well, which is really handy because you'll actually see the little shortcut. And then link will be a link to something else. So again, this could be a web link, this could be a link to a document, whatever you want. Um, but you don't have to put something in, so I'm just gonna post that straight away. Uh, whoops, I've got to cancel the link and just post that. And then you'll get this kind of announcement, okay? And then you can add comments to these announcements as well. So if we go back across here, let's have a look at my students view. I'm just gonna kind of refresh that. And they'll see that post, hey, there we go. Uh, so this is in stream at the moment, okay? So you can see, Everything that gets happening, that happens across here, will come up like a stream. So it's very similar to Facebook, you know, actually, uh, except with a giant frog, um, in the way that you kind of just post these announcements, okay? Now, you can add comments. As a teacher, I can add a comment to this announcement. You know, I might want to do a follow-up. Uh, and as a student, the student can add a comment as well. Um, bye. And I'll post that. So you've got this kind of little chat area as well. And then as I come across here, let's refresh it. There you go, you see it comes up straight away. So it'll have the name of the student, it'll have what they said in the time, um, and all students will see these as well, these comments, because you know, you've invited them into the classroom. So you know, one of those things where you do need to kind of moderate this stuff, and like I say to any of my students that use this, you know, you say, say at the front, you know, this is something that you are using, you know, use it uh, responsibly. The second I start seeing anything silly, we, we turn it off, and that's kind of always been enough for me. I haven't had to be like, you know, cross. Um, so that's your announcements and that's your stream. The next one is your assignments. So like I said, announcements, you can post information if you want. You can say, hey, watch this, or you know, I want you to do this little bit of work. You can do that. But with the assignment, it actually has a few more options here. And I'm gonna show you those because they're actually pretty cool. So this is your assignments, okay? And you can see I've got none at the moment. So in this type of assignment, I might say, write a biography of your dad. I didn't need the exclamation mark. And again, I should probably correct. Um, and then you can have a little description here. So you can give more information on what the students need to do. So, you know, please write a hundred words on where your dad was born. All right, done. And you can set a date and a time that it's due. So by default, it gives you the, the next day. Um, and you can exact put an exact time as well. But I might just say, uh, let's see, Steve Ryder. And down here again, you can attach something. So again, you can attach a document you want, you want to upload, you can attach a YouTube video, a link or something from your drive. So with this, I might attach a YouTube video of, um, you know, myself talking about how to write a biography, or I might attach a document that is an example of a biography, you know, so you can do that, or you could even attach like a blank sheet and the kids have to fill in that work. Okay, so you can do quite a lot with that. And I'll show you how that kind of works as well. But for now, I'm just going to do that. It's a nice, simple one. Please write a biography of dad and um, where he's born. So I'm not going to attach anything, and I'm going to assign that. And what will happen, of course, is this will come up. You'll have this due date. So this will have all your students. I've only got one, one student, um, and he hasn't done it. Uh, and if I go back across to my student here, you can see straight away they've got a notification. Uh, they'll also get an email. It will go straight to their account to say, hey, you've got a new bit of homework. Um, and you can see on their assignments tab all their assignments and when they're due. So I'm going to go to write a biography of your dad. And here we go here. So this is where the student will actually do this part of the work. And they can also do private comments, um, which is really handy as well. So they might go to the teacher, you know, I don't understand. Um, and you know, they're just, that's a lot of things. Um, and they can post that and that will go just to the teacher. No one else will see that, okay? None of the students will actually see that they've actually sent a comment they don't really understand. If I go back here as well, I'll see those comments um, from my students so I can kind of see what they need and I can then do a, a private comment back to them as well, okay? So you can see what's going on with your students. So if I go into my students here, so go into my assignment. All right, so here are my assignments that are handed in and I've got this little comment from 
Daniel's saying, you know, I don't understand. He hasn't done it yet. I haven't graded it, but he just doesn't understand. So I can actually go in there and send a private comment back. Um, wow. With some more information and post that. And again, he's the only one seeing this. Okay. Um, I'm just going to go back to my main topic here. All right. So let's go to the student. And there, oh, there's my comment, blah. What a great teacher. So here is where the student hands their work. So if they click mark as done, they're saying they've done their work. Okay. And they'll get a notification saying, okay, I've done that work. But they've got a few other options here. They can add or they can create. So obviously I want them to write a biography of their dad. So they need to write something. So they may have already written uh, their document in Google Docs and they're ready to go. So if they click add, again, you'll see here, the student has three options. It'll link to their Google Drive and they can upload the document, a link, or they can actually upload the file. Maybe they made a PDF or they made a, a video so they can actually upload that file too. But they can create a document. And this is where it's really handy and easy for the teacher. So they could create and they're going to do create a document. All right. This is going to actually start creating this document. And what this does is if you go to the drive of this student, it'll actually have a Google Classrooms folder, It'll have this lesson in a folder and then it'll have this document in a folder. So it actually makes all of this for them straight away, which is really, really handy. They don't have to worry about putting stuff in folders. Everything's always going to be in classrooms. So I might just do a new tab and I'll show you what I mean for the student. Okay, so, yep, I'm in my student here. Now you'll see I've got a new classrooms folder. I never did any of this. It was made automatically. Um, and we called this grade six. And there is the document ready to go. So it's made all that for the student. Now obviously the document is blank. So if I go back and I've got that document there, um, it's blank at the moment. So if I click on it, it'll open it up in docs and I can start to write my document straight away. So here is my bio, blah, 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 blah. And then I can save that. Um, so then what you can do from there is once that's actually done, we can turn it in. So by clicking the turn in button, all right, it's you're saying that this work is done. And you can see here, files you add or create can be viewed or edited by a teacher. So what it does too, is it automatically will then create that folder in the teacher drive under that um, file structure and the, and the document will be there. And I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to say turn in and it's going to turn it in. There you go. Are you sure you want to do this? It's saying, hey, you've, you've attached this one, um, this one document. Again, private note to the teacher, um, you know, this was fun. And I'm going to turn that in. And then it's going to get that tick saying, hey, you've done the work. So that's done. All right, I've turned it in. It was fun and where to go. And the student can also unsubmit if they want to, uh, if they need to make some changes. But if I go back across, you'll see, as a teacher, there's my assignment. If I go to the assignments tab, I can see just my assignments. And you'll see it, one is done. So as a teacher, I can click on that. And here it is here. So write a biography of your dad. Here are all the students that have done it. And we can start to look at their work. Now, if I go into folder, it's going to open up my Google Drive for the teacher. And again, it's automatically made that folder. So you can see you've got in your drive as a teacher, the classroom, the actual class that you made, which was the grade six overview, and then that homework task as well. And you can see there it is there. So again, Google Classrooms has automatically set this folder structure up in the teacher's drive too. So again, there's no emailing back and forth. The teacher has to find the document. It's all there and done for them and automatically shared as well. So you can see there's the owner, and there's the, the teacher and student. So I can now open up that student's document and I can read it, okay? And I also have, it automatically gives the teacher editing rights too. So I can go in there and, you know, I can actually edit there, but this is the student's work. So what I would probably do is go into um, suggestion or even commenting mode, you know, just add some comments in here as well. So I can select their bio, put in a comment, and that would be the teacher saying, uh, great work. And I can comment on that student's work as well. Or, you know, I could say maybe redo this section or try this, just like you would with a, a paper. You know, you, you can write on it. And the student will get those notifications as well when they open that up. So they can see those, those changes that the teacher wants them to make. So I'm going to head back here. All right. So if we're happy, that's done. You know, we're ready to go. You can click on this and you can either return it back to them. Okay. So I've made those changes automatically. They'll see those. But if I do return, they'll get a notification and say, hey, you know, it's been done. I can send them an email, okay? Or if I had a whole bunch of students, you can email and do a massive email as well. Or I can, again, I can download it and work on it. And I can grade them as well. So this is the, the grading system. So we'll say 50. Um, so I'm going to update that. So this is saying that this assignment's out of 50. And this student got 50. Okay? So away you go. So and I should return it to them before I give them their mark. 
Um, so I can add feedback as well. So it'll say here, when you return the assignment, the student will be able to edit the return files and you'll be able to comment on them as well. So they can keep going back and you know, back and forth. So I'm just going to return that assignment. It goes back, there's their grade. Now it doesn't have a letter grade. It's only got a point grade at the moment, um, but I'm sure that'll change as people ask for it. Uh, and that's it. That's as simple as that. So again, now the student, if I go back to their bio, they can see here that it's been returned. They've got a tick next to it. So, you know, I've marked it, I've returned it. If I had that comment, I might've said, oh, can you rewrite the bottom paragraph? They would have that comment there from the teacher as well and they can rewrite it and send it back. And away you go. All right, so that's all it is. So, it, I mean, look, all of the stuff you could do, obviously with just simply emailing back and forth from students and all that kind of stuff, but it does put it all in one place and it makes it a lot easier to, to do it because it automates everything by creating those folders and creating the emails and doing all of that for you. And of course, if you had, you know, 30 students, then one click, you know, they're all returned or one click and they're all emailed. So it does kind of just take a lot of the, you know, paperwork out of doing it. Um, and of course you have this running stream here that students are all signed into. So they can see what's going on. They can see assignments, they can chat. Okay. They can do all that kind of stuff as well. So it's kind of like, um, how can I put it? It's like, it's like having a, a homepage for your classroom or for that assignment. Um, and everyone can come back and forth. So yeah, really, really handy to do. Now, again, if I go back into classrooms here, you can make as many classes as you want. So for instance, we were playing with this the other day and we have like little book club, like little workshops where certain students work on certain books, okay? So what you can do is you can create a class for each of those, you know, book one, book two, book three, book four, and just have those students within that class. So you've got these little mini classes running as well. And you can, as the teacher, oversee all of this. You can see exactly what's going on, who's marking what, all the assignments that you've got to just makes it really, really easy for you. And again, all linked into Google Docs because our students are in our organization. All of that stuff back and forth is all secure and all sorted. So yeah, that's uh, Google Classroom. So really simple, um, really clean. Look, I'm, and they're going to constantly update, there's no doubt, but I actually quite like that it's so clean and simple. Um, so yeah, something to try with the students. But again, if you're new to Google uh, and your students are new to Google, um, I would, before you kind of jump into this platform, I would you know, look at getting them, you know, looking at working with Google Docs first and sharing and emailing, do all those steps first so they understand that. So then when you give them this platform, it kind of just puts it all together in one little place. Um, and that's it. All right. See you later.